What goes on guys, we're back here again with yet another review, and today we're going to be taking a look at something I am extremely excited for. We're going to be taking a look at the brand new NECA Toys, Dinosaurs, Jim Henson's Earl Sinclair. I'm, I can't believe this line exists. I'm so happy that it does. Uh, I love this show. I rewatched it about a year or two ago. Um, and it still holds up to this day. There we go with a nice little read-up. You can see Baby Sinclair there. The We Say So company instead of the NECA logo. That's great. You get to see dinosaurs. Love the, like, I don't want to say movie poster, but, like, the promotional art for the show. ABC Signature. That's a new one. Um, there's the barcode if you're looking for it. Um, it may say out of stock at Target's, but take the time. Go to a couple and look because... It said that all mine were out in the area, and then we went to one Target, and there was three of them on the shelves, and I'm pretty happy about that, and I'm like, so excited for this figure. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and open up Earl Sneed Sinclair. So, getting the mighty Megalosaurus out of the packaging, I gotta say... I'm in love with this thing. It is so awesome to have. I wouldn't go as far as to call it perfect. I do have one or two little gripes about him. But for the most part, he's pretty damn awesome. He's pretty damn awesome. And makes me very happy to have. I cannot wait to get the whole Sinclair family and then add-on characters, like I said in my baby review. Um... That sounds so weird saying that, but in the Baby Sinclair review, um, Monica and Roy um, and his boss, whose name I still cannot remember. Why can I not think of the boss's name? But um, I'm down for all of it, so please, please give it to me. Please. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this head sculpt here. It is outstanding. That is Earl Sneed Sinclair. That is great. I love the sculpt on there. The different shading of the yellow and, like, the scoots down his neck um, <clears throat> with the brown and then, like, the different dry brushes of green on the side of his head. That is so well done. That is beautifully painted. The eyes are very nice. The sculpt is spot on. Very, very good. And then you get this beautifully patterned shirt for him, like the flannel that he wears. And it's amazing. It's it's. It's really, really good. Um, I think the pattern is super clean, super well done. They even got it like in the joints a little bit, though. I will say once you like move them, the elbows, it will kind of come out a little bit. And then you do get your hands nice painted here. Uh, the dry brush is carried all throughout the legs and the body. It, just look at that paint job. That looks like it came right out of the show. Now, my one gripe is I think the tail is too small. I think his tail is not long enough. I think that it was definitely a lot bigger in the show. I remember it being, like, like obnoxiously long. Like, I think it should be, like, out to here and thicker. But that's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think the tail is a little short. And, unfortunately, I don't think there's anything I can do about that. But, yeah. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Or what you guys think. But I think this tail is a little short. Though, albeit, very painted and very well sculpted. Really like the dry brush. The brown in there looks very nice. The bottom of the tail looks great. You do get this kind of weird situation where it's skishy. It's like hollow in there. Um, where his big old belly kind of leaves these giant gaping holes. But there's nothing really you can do. And honestly, I'm not too upset about it. So, you get the toes there. All painted. The feet look great. I love the way that this looks. The aesthetic is damn near perfect. Damn near perfect. Other than I just I just think the tail is a little short. I don't know. And you know them, the whole like tail puberty thing. So you would assume that that would be a big part. It makes him part of the mighty Megalosaurus. I don't, I don't know. But I think overall it looks pretty damn well done. And now why Earl himself is great, his accessories really do make this figure a lot of fun. So you do get some opposable hands. So you get like the pointing finger, you get the gripping hand, you get another pointing finger, another gripping hand, this one kind of like a pre-posed hand, maybe another gripping hand. And then you get this hand, which is for the remote. Um, so like if you want to have them hold it, I guess it goes this way, hold the remote in the hand like this. So he's like pushing the button. That is great. I love that. That is super, super well done. Very cool. Um, then you get his captain's hat. You know, he's captain of the house. Kind of just rests on there. You can find that sweet spot 
and it looks great. I realize you cannot see that. Um, put that on there. Looks great. Just kind of rests on there. Totally fine. And to go with his captain hat, you got to get the mug that he sold his soul for. Yep. He literally sold his soul for this mug. And I'm very happy that they put that in there. It's a very nice little touch. Um, I would say that this hand's probably the best for the mug. Oops. For the mug. Looks pretty good. I like that. You do get an alternate head. Kind of just open mouth looking to the side. I wish it was looking straight because this is probably what I would use, but I don't really like that it's looking to the side. And popping off the heads is super easy. You can see the big old double bump dumbbell in there. And then, yeah, popping that on. It's a little tight at first. I'm not fully in there, but there you go. You get the idea. That looks great. At least to me it does. I think I'm going to stick with the closed mouth head, though, just because it's looking forward and it's good enough. You know, looks good no matter what. But I think the coolest accessory, and maybe one of the coolest accessories I've seen ever, is his beers. So you get, you know, you get a nice little six-pack here. And not there's one or two or even three, four, or five, but all six of these beers come out. That is awesome. Functionality and accessories is something that I don't think a lot of companies like to uh, capitalize on, except NECA. And this is great. They're all painted. You get the lava lager. That's great. All painted nicely. The silver for the can ring is great. And then, of course, you know, if you want to pop on open for old Earl, um, he doesn't have a hand that's like great for holding it. I found that the remote holding hand is not great um but it's probably your best bet to be completely honest so you just kind of got to balance it the right way pop that hand out and then pop this hand in pop that in there and then you know if you can balance it it'll do it's not great i think there should be an actual hand to hold it but for the most part I don't really care. This is an amazing set of accessories. That These beer cans alone make it. That is so, so cool. So you probably got a good idea of the articulation already. But the head goes up, goes down, pivots side to side, rotates and kind of looks side to side, which is great. And it'll rotate all around. So I think the head's perfectly fine. Shoulders are going to go up this far. They're going to go down. They're going to rotate. They will go 360. And then you do get a single jointed elbow that swivels, and then the wrist swivel and hinge. Um, that's fine by me. A joint I was not expecting was you do get a double dumbbell in the torso, so you can kind of whoops, pop this tail off. Um, you can kind of go forward and back a little bit, but it'll rotate. Um, I don't know how useful that is, but it's there. Um, and I'm not gonna say no to a little bit more articulation right hips surprisingly go out very far again i don't know how much you're going to want to use that because it looks weird but they do he kicks forward all the way so i'm assuming we're going to get a couch at some point i mean really the couch in the show was just two armrests that the puppet would kind of like slip the tail through which is kind of hilarious if you think about it um but i wouldn't mind that you do get a thigh swivel here you get a single jointed knee that does rotate, and usually the rotation on the knee doesn't really do anything, but for him, it really does help, like, getting good posing and things like that. And then the ankle goes down and up and pivot. Very well done, so you can always have his big old dinosaur feet flopping on the ground. And then you do just get a set of ball pegs for the tail, and I think that that works very nice. Though, I, I really, the more I look at it, the more I think the tail is too small. But, yeah, this this is great. He looks fantastic and definitely moves enough for the kind of character that he is. Now, taking a look at scaling, this was where my next problem comes in. I don't really think he's 7-inch scale. Here he is next to the 6-inch scale Jazzers Fortnite Series Peely, along with the NECA Kong. I think he's a little small. Um, I don't think, like, it's going to bother me very much, especially when you get the rest of the family and just kind of have them together. That's fine by me. But he is pretty short for the mighty Megalosaurus. Here he is next to the 7-inch scale McFarlane Toys Dark Knight Returns Batman, along with the 6-inch scale Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men series Darwin. 
And then, of course, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Hasbro What If Series Zombie Captain America. So some of you are probably out there wondering, yo, and what are your final thoughts on this figure? And if you couldn't tell, I love it. I absolutely love it. This just makes me so happy to have and to be able to put on the shelf. He's great. I think the sculpt and paint is damn near perfect on this. The accessories are some of the best I've ever seen. The beers coming out of the six pack is amazing. The articulation is totally what it needs to be. My only problem is the scaling. I, I think he is a little too small and I think his tail is too small for his body. Um, that could just be me and let me know if I'm crazy and I should, you know, stop reviewing figures. Um, cause maybe I should, who knows? But other than that, he's damn near perfection and he, you may be seeing him again. Let's just, let's just put it like that. Right. So with all that being said at the price point of around $40, I will go ahead and give him a 9.5 out of 10. Because scaling isn't too big of an issue as long as he scales with the rest of the members of his family and in his own line or series or whatever. And taking a look at little baby Sinclair, he's going to do just fine. So with all that being said, I believe that's all I got for today. If you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Letterboxd. I post a lot on all those apps and I have a good time, so I'm sure you all will too. But as always, let me know. You copping the mighty Megalosaurus? I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Walkers on, guys. I wanted to hop on here again and thank you all for watching. And to let you know that if the following apps interest you, feel free to follow me on them as I put the links in the description for you guys. I really appreciate everything you all do for me. So DM me with any questions or thoughts. I'd love to sit and talk with you all. Again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.